I'm from Kiribes. I'm from a very little island. We are surrounded by a very big ocean, which is why marine spatial planning is very important for us because we really need some ma management um, tools to be able to manage our marine resources well. I learned a lot from both the audience and also from some of my fellow speakers today. What I'm understanding from the audience and through the questions is that um, oftentimes local knowledge and indigenous knowledge are actually used at, like interchangeably and that a lot of these jurisdictional um, challenges that we face with trying to incorporate and bring in indigenous people and their knowledge systems into marine spatial planning um, are, are also a lot of the same challenges that my fellow MSP practitioners are having. So we've been working with um, a very distinguished indigenous elder who has been really enhancing and leading, really leading the edge on ways to bring indigenous knowledge systems um, up in the forefront and in the light of so many different sectors. And I'm so grateful that I was able to, to bring his Indigenous teachings right here into this forum today. It's, it's meant so much. And it's very nice of you to make use of existing data, include everybody in the process, more of an inclusive process, especially the Indigenous people, having layers of data also. And then when developing the scenarios, we try to do conservation vis-a-vis -vis biodiversity conservation vis-a-vis -vis economic situation to see which one best means and then also i also learned that zonation is very important you need to zone the areas for specific uses and most especially to have goals and targets for each of the zones and for the documents that are prepared and in this case the marine spatial plans for various I think Climate Smart MSP is not only taking into account climate change, but also how can the oceans and MSP play a role in mitigating. It's not only about like adapt, being having an adaptive um, MSP that changes when the weather changes or the sea level rises. It's also which role can the oceans play in conserving uh, our climate and uh, diminishing the effects of climate change. I think Chile has been very proactive in incorporating climate change into as a state policy in the country and we are making uh, significant progress in both fronts, adaptation and, and mitigation. And, 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 and in parallel, we are also making progress in, in coastal planning and in the incorporation of uh, marine uh, uh, special planning principles into coastal management. Uh, the consistent based approach, the future looking approach and things like that. Um, and the challenge today is basically to increase the synergy between these two lines uh, of work, climate change on one side and, and coastal management on, on the other one. But yeah, we are making good progress, I think. Yeah. Sustainable blue economy has a rightful place in uh, MSP process uh, because it is a cross-cutting uh, sector. Uh, it's about tourism, it's about energy, it's about fishing and so on. Uh, so I think it has its rightful place in uh, the next of MSP and if you would see a uh, sustainable blue economy like a tree, I think uh, that uh, the basis, the roots, would be the protection of uh, the maritime environment because you cannot have a sustainable blue economy without a healthy ocean. And MSP would be like the support of the tree which helps him grow and develop. In the Indonesia context, in my country, uh, we propose uh, sustainable blue economy in five uh, programs. So it's uh, for the protection of the ecosystem, we propose the expansion of uh, marine protected area. And then uh, to decrease the uh, illegal and unregulated and unreported uh, fishing, we propose quota-based uh, fisheries management. And then we also propose sustainable aquaculture. And for the coastal and islands, uh, we implement the marine spatial planning. And then also uh, like adaptation method, uh, and then uh, mitigation method, and also management of blue carbon. So uh, we believe that with uh, this comprehensive uh, program, we can link the, our MSP with this uh, program of sustainable blue economy in the future. I'm grateful that I attend this forum because there are a lot of experts around in the, in the room. I can learn from them and, and hopefully I can incorporate them to my research that I'm currently doing on marine spatial planning and, and hopefully it will um, help to, the, to implement our marine spatial planning in Tonga.